And in three, two, one, and we're recording. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Mike Starr. And on today's video, I'll be showcasing you all my extensive Ferrelli Brothers Blu-ray slash one DVD collection. Now, Ferrelli Brothers predominantly make comedy movies, but they did make one series film, and that was The Green Book. They are uh, two brothers, Bobby Ferrelli and... Uh, I forget the other guy's name, but... They are the, du the duo that, you know, make these classic comedies that uh, I grew up watching, and I'm sure a lot of you out there, uh, like, grew up watching too. So, let me introduce you with the first Ferrelli Brothers movie that they released, um, and this is, uh, Kingpin. Yep. Kingpin, right? I love this movie, right? It's a, it's a classic, it's a funny bowling movie, you know, 90s movie. It stars Woody Harrelson, where Andy Quaid, Vanessa Angel, smoking hot babe. Um, uh, although, uh, yeah, it also stars Bill Murray, um, and it's a, it's a bowling movie, uh, comedy, and, uh, yeah, it's got a, it opens up with, uh, yeah, Woody Harrelson, he's, uh, like, this really cool, this really good bowler, and he hustles these, these people, these, uh, gangsters for money, and then, you know, he gets caught for doing it, and then he gets his arm cut off. And then, in, and then it shows him years and years later, and he's like a bum, and uh, he doesn't really have anything going for him until he meets Randy Quaid's character, who's this Amish guy, who's just naturally a good bowler, and he thinks, you know, if he can coach him, he can, like, get him to join this tournament, um, and then win all this money, and then they can split it, or whatever, you know, but it's it's a funny movie. Next one is my favourite, probably my favourite Ferrelli Brothers movie of all time, and that is Something About Mary. This here is a classic, classic. Grew up watching this. Uh, great, great movie, this one. Um, Cameron Diaz, Matt Dillon, Ben Stiller. Yeah, this is a good movie, and I'm, it's got, um, you know, loads of features on here. So just I'll show you that on the back. And uh, the movie is about, you know, high school sweethearts. Uh, it's the, it's the uh, day of the high school prom, and um, Ben Stiller gets his... Uh, He's a nutsack caught in his zipper. From there, he embarrasses himself, winds up in the hospital. Then he doesn't really see uh, Cameron Diaz, who's um, Mary, uh, um, Mary Jensen. And then she changes her name to Mary Matthews. But anyways, then it shows him years and years later. He's talking to a therapist about it. And he can't get her out of his mind. And it's just just, just a classic movie. <laughs> Next one is Dumb and Dumber. I personally like the rated version because this has all these additional scenes which kind of ruin it, but I do have the DVD of it. Yeah, um, this is what probably got the Frilly Brothers big, right? Classic comedy duo, Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels, um, just these two stupid guys, you know? This woman leaves her briefcase at the airport Jim Carrey's her driver, he sees it, you know, he takes it, and, uh, you know, he wants to go give it back to her, but he doesn't realise that she left it there on purpose, that it was a ransom, and, uh, yeah, it's just a funny movie, and then they go on the road to give it back to this, uh, woman. Next one is the sequel, Dumb and Dumber 2, uh, it's garbage, I'm not even gonna go there, but, um, yeah. Um, the next Frilly Brothers movie is Me, Myself and Irene. This is a classic too. Definitely up to scratch with Bobby Ferrelli and um, er, and Peter Ferrelli's uh, filmmaking. Yep, funny movie about Jim Carrey's character who's got a schizophrenia, split personality disorder actually, sorry I should say. I don't know exactly what it's called, but he turns into this different person whenever he gets ticked off from people. And, uh, you know, he meets Renee Zellweger's character because she's a, a witness to a murder and he has to take her across country, but then he forgets his medication. So 
you know, he has to put up with uh, the dual personalities that he has, which is Hank and Charlie. Charlie's the nice guy, and then Hank's his alter ego, which is like this really angry guy. But yeah, very funny movie. Grew up watching this. Next one is a classic. This movie, saw it at the cinemas growing up. Shallow How. Boom. Shallow How. Can't go wrong with Shallow How. One second. Shallow How, what can I say? Jack Black. You know, um, Renee Zellweger, was it? No, it was Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow and Jack Black. And, um, you know, Jack Black's a very shallow person, you know, when it comes to women. And, uh, you know, he's not like, he's not the greatest looking guy in the world. And, um, yeah, he goes um, for like 10 out of 10 women and he's single really doesn't have luck until he bumps into Anthony Robbins, who is a motivational speaker in real life, but he has a cameo in it, gives him this pep talk in the elevator. From there, you know, um, Jack Black starts to pick up all the women that he um, wants to, like 10 out of 10s, but um, like there's a sort of twist to it. He sees these women beautiful, but everyone else sees them as like really hideous, ugly women. Anyways. Next one is the Heartbreak Kid. Um, yeah, this is a funny, funny, heaps funny movie. Um, I love it, you know. It's uh, another romance comedy movie, Ben Stiller. And uh, yeah, Ben Stiller is, is an older gentleman in his like 40s. Single, you know, all the people around him have been married, kids, whatever. He really doesn't have anyone until he meets this girl. Everything seems to be going all right until she's going to, until she gets this offer to work overseas. But she says that they won't move her if they get married. And he says, all right, it's probably about time I took the plunge. So he takes the plunge. Then on his honeymoon, he starts to realize that this woman is not the woman that uh, he thought she was. And this is only after six, I think it was like after a couple of months of them meeting or weeks. But yeah, good comedy duo, Ben Stiller and Jerry Stiller. God rest his soul, rest in peace. Uh, Jerry Stiller, phenomenal actor. Funny, funny as. Um, next one is Hall Pass. Yep. Uh, Owen Wilson, Jason Sudeikis. And uh, yeah, this is a comedy movie. Um, really... Um, Really underrated. I do think it's quite funny. It's uh, it's about two friends, uh, both married. Uh, they're just kind of like perverts in a funny way, um, and then their their wives give them a hall pass, meaning they can go out for one weekend and and have sex with as many women or do whatever they want. So they do, and they get into all sorts of trouble. It's a pr pretty funny movie. Next one is uh, The Three Stooges. Um, this guy's a Greek, but um, it's the shittest movie you'll ever see. <laughs> Terrible movie. And uh, fun fact, Jim Carrey was supposed to play that guy, and uh, I don't know what happened. I think that guy, you know, he, he did a good job, uh, as good as a job as he could, but I don't know, Jim Carrey for me, I think, I don't know. I like Jim Carrey, but... Maybe it would have worked better if Jim Carrey was in it. I don't know if he was suited for that role, but anyways. Uh, then I got another copy of Dumb and Dumber 2. I, I don't know why. I still don't know why. Um, and then I got The Ringer with Johnny Knoxville. And uh, this has only come out on DVD. But that the movie's about Johnny Knoxville, um, you know, pretends to be mentally retarded to join the um, Special Olympics so he can win it because these uh, these bookies, these loan sharks, uh, they're going to, you know, his uncle gets involved with him and it's not going to end well. And also he wants to get his friend Starvey back, his fingers that he lost from, from trying to start a lawnmower um, and he needs this money. So he wants to fix the Special Olympics and... Uh, yeah, he realizes that even though he's good at athletics, that, that they're good too, you know, even though they're, they're handicapped. And um, just, a, just a funny movie, that's all I'm going to say. But if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up, comment me down below your favorite Forelli Brothers movie, and I'm out of here, everyone. I'll see you in my next video.